Let's master altered reciprocal inhibition and synergistic dominance for the NASM exam. At the end, make sure to screenshot this table I created, as well as three practice test questions that you may see on the exam related to these topics. Additionally, don't forget to pick up the ultimate NASM cheat sheet down below. If you have any questions, drop me one here. Two of the most important yet confusing concepts in NASM CPT are altered reciprocal inhibition and synergistic dominance. Let's break them down so you can pass your exam and fix faulty movement. What is reciprocal inhibition? Reciprocal inhibition is a normal response. When one muscle contracts, its opposite relaxes. For example, when you curl a dumbbell, the biceps contract and the triceps relax. But when a muscle is chronically tight, it disrupts that balance. The tight muscle inhibits the antagonist's ability to contract. This is called altered reciprocal inhibition. What is synergistic dominance? When the primary mover is weak or inhibited, the synergists, the helper muscles, step in and do too much work. That's synergistic dominance. The problem? These helper muscles aren't designed to lead. Tight muscles create imbalances. Imbalances disrupt neural control. That leads to compensations, often in the wrong muscles, and eventually, injury. Make sure to get the ultimate NASM cheat sheet for free. Here's a side-by-side -side table explaining both concepts with definitions and real examples. Pause and screenshot it now. Let's test your understanding. Try these three questions and drop your score in the comments. Like, comment, and subscribe for more NASM study tips.